Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I want to do a short flip through through my memories journal. And this is going to be pretty quick because this album, I'm sorry, this journal was pretty simple. It's incredible, but it is very simple. The leather-like uh, material that I have, it's uh, paper that I, uh, like the craft paper, I just uh, crumple it up and I do a lot of... Um, individual different inks with it if I don't like it I change it up or I darken it up and this this is what it came out like I think it's beautiful it's beautiful the way the leather like uh, material came out too and then this is um, another piece of vintage uh, embellishment from a an old I think it was a, like a party dress but it was really really old from I picked it up at a second hand store and then what I come and I do I, I take out all of the appliques and I take out uh, but these uh, were on the dress and I left them on there I thought it was pretty cute it's like I said it's a simple uh, the cover is pretty it has one two three four five signatures and uh, the closure is this pretty ribbon like a burgundy type of thing to match the look it comes off of the comes off of the back and I just flipped it through the hole <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> my allergies are really acting up and I put the little handle on here and um, yeah if this is this one is super simple I love what I did with all of the paper there's no specific paper pad I used in any of my books because what I do is I shop around in my own room and whenever I come up with an idea I go through all my paper pads like if it's flowers or if I'm going to go with uh, uh, butterflies or if I'm going to go with hearts and I just shop around and look through the different paper pads that I have and tear out the different sheets that I want to use um, and that's why it's not a specific paper pad that I used. Um, this is a little flip up from the page and like I said this is a super simple super simple uh, journal uh, the journaling cards um, the, they're also uh, from different paper pads yeah, this is from one of my favorite paper pads because I love those roses um, and as you can see, there isn't like a whole lot of decoration because I wanted to incorporate as much writing space. I wanted to concentrate on the writing space uh, for you. So here we have, um, there, like I said, there's five signatures. There are 60 uh, pages. And let's see. 60 pages it has 31 journaling cards and 26 tuck spots but since I wanted to give as much uh, writing uh, pages so what I did on some of these like here we have two uh, two of the journaling cards but I also included here I'll show you in a minute um, let's see I included that's another this is another card but what I tried to do was give more paper for writing on I think that's it's very important to give uh, ample writing pages and that's what I concentrated on doing this this little trim right here I've had it forever there came like three different um, three or four different designs in a pack and um, I don't even remember where I got it from. Um, here is uh, the paper that I was talking about. Uh, this is closed shut. I don't know why. It's a pocket. And on here on the other side is another journal card where I spilled a little too much ink. But I used it. 
And here's another cute, uh, here, here's where I did paper. I folded pa pages and I incorporated it throughout the book so you could have even more writing uh, space. Um, these are the glued on hearts at the end of the things. This is more paper <coughs> folded up and put in there. You also have writing space in the back to put a picture or something. Very uh, small, this is another card. Very small uh, embellishments, but I, that's what I wanted. I, I didn't want to go about, uh, too into detail with the, let's do this end because this is easier for me. I'm left-handed. And then um, I hope you can see it there. And this is another journal card. There we go. And then we have this beautiful paper pad. If you're interested in knowing, I'll, I'll look it up and see where this one is from. I absolutely positively love this paper pad. I don't know right off the top of my head what it is, but I'll put it down below. And these are also the journal cards are from different places. I don't just use one, one um, paper pad. I use different ones. This is a cute little pocket that I made. More pages. This is another card. Here's another one, another tuck spot there with a journal card. Oh, this is, uh, I believe this was Tim Holtz. This is Tim Holtz, I think. I'm not sure. But I thought that was really cute. Very pretty vintage picture on there. With a little flower, I believe that from his collection also. If I'm, if I'm wrong, you can correct me. I'm not, I wouldn't doubt it. But um, this is a piece of handmade paper I stuck on here. It's very small. I'm still practicing on my handmade paper and I'm, I mean to, uh, to master that because I want to start making my own paper. I thought that was cute more another sheet that you have there to write on or put a picture on and all these I left empty for pictures but you can easily write on them too these I love this color and then these pages are <coughs> just beautiful excuse me and uh more pages, washi tape. We have a, a policy envelope here folded in half. This is from the cable company. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. This is an old vintage, uh, whatchamacallit, from um, Tim Holtz. Looks like little shell buttons on there. Thought that was really cute. Here's another card. I just put the stopper on there with a little pearl. And this paper was, it tore when I was, but I like it. I like when they get torn and, and burnt and sometimes I just go with it or sometimes I'll put a piece of tape on it to make it, you know, this is, this is a two-way pocket. This pocket is from the top and then it flips up. And it has a little thing. I thought that was cute. It's a, a pair of shoes for 35 cents. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, I wish. And uh, this is another piece of paper that you can write on. Just extra writing space. And this one, see, was I went overboard on the staining or the dyeing. But I like it. It looks nice. And more water spotted uh, paper. All these water spots I find them so cute. Another journal card. This is a stamp that was my favorite by EK Tools and it broke. It's, I used to use it so much and I can't find it again. 
find another one to replace it anyway. This is another card that I folded in half. I thought these envelopes are cute. More writing space. More of the little hearts. This is a yes, this is another over the top over the top tag that I put on there with the key uh what you call and this is another one I overdid it on. But I think when I make mistakes like this, I like them. I like them because they look they look so cool. I like it. But yes, I overdid it in the oven. This is another card held down by a paper clip. That's the other side of the more writing space. And then more paper. Doily. Like this here, tour. So I just went with it and I inked it around. This was uh, part of the... I went over it with Mod Podge on the inside also. Not only the outside that I did the paper, the paper here, on here, I went on, on the inside also. And I kept it super simple with the little flowers. This is from a policy envelope that I had spilt some ink on it. And um, I just cut out the little flowers and I put them on there. That's an old doily. And then the back is very super simple. <clears throat> the way I did it on there. But I like the... I added the little details and I... Like the little corner, whatchamacallit. I like how that came out. And it's a small... Manageable is when I see this this journal. It's manageable in in the sense that you can grab it and stick it somewhere. It's not so big and bulky. The spine is only two and a half inches, and um, yeah, I enjoyed making this one. This little, but uh, uh, I mean, it's not so tiny, but it, it it is smaller than what I usually make. But um, I was happy with the uh, with the look. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. This is an actual vintage button that I cut the shank off and I just stuck it on there. And, um, super simple. Super simple. I really, really like this look, especially the cover. The cover looks gorgeous. It's, uh, it literally does look like, um, leather. It's very, very pretty. And the bottom little hearts, how they stick out here. I like this. I've done this in a couple of my um, journals also. I try to go with the with the look of the journal. But yes, there it is. The uh, Memories Journal. It is, uh, it is a link down below to my Etsy store. And that's the top. And uh, I hope you liked it. This was a cute little envelope, uh, sorry, journal to work with. And um, uh, go check out the uh, Etsy store and there it is. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I appreciate it and you have a great day.